If you always do this, your test will be very, very, very clear. It allows you to create a to-do. Actually, it may create a to-do. Okay, so this will be a function. And the first thing we need to do is uh, create the user because the to-do is associated with the user. So let's just do that. All right, so user and then acting as that user acting as that user from to do's index i'm going to post to to do store and the title do our to do's have a title what do you guys think mm, probably a to do description only so for now okay the description will be my first to do and what do I expect to happen? I expect to, first of all, first of all, I expect to grab the response. And then I expect the response to redirect to route in to do's index and assert session as no errors. And finally, I also expect I'm going to grab all to do's by doing model to do all and I expect to have only one to do. And I expect the first to do description to be my first to do. I also expect that the first to do user ID to be the user ID. Okay. Sounds to me like a very complete test. What well, typically, you know, when I work with testing, uh, I do the following. I prepare, you know, I act, and then I do my assertion stuff. You know what I mean? So I feel like saving the response in this moment right here is the, it's the correct thing to do. Because here I have prepared everything, but here I'm actually acting, you know? I'm actually, you know, from this thing, I'm posting stuff, you know what I mean? And then I have the response where I can perform some assertions. So always, keep this in mind, dudes. Always try to separate your, your test by three things. Prepare your scenario, act, and finally assert. If you always do this, your test will be very, very, very clear.